Well, break-ins and vandalism across the valley continue to be a real concern as the city of Las Vegas, in the meantime, is working to protect small businesses. Grant funds have now been allocated to 40 business owners around town to help better their storefront security. 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough explaining how. That just gives us the security at night that, you know, no windows will be broken or anything like that. Securing the premises, that's what small businesses downtown are doing through the city's security grant program. Some business owners applying for grant money of up to $10,000 to reimburse cost of improving security at their location. Councilwoman Olivia Diaz pleased to help those in her area of Ward 3 as she acknowledges there have been problems. Every time I receive a concern from a small business owner saying my windows have been shattered, I've been looted, you know, my camera system has been destroyed for the nth time, I was compelled then to make a very strong plea to our city manager to do something for these business owners. Sure thing, Wedding Chapel located here on Fremont Street, using that grant money to implement rolling shades to secure their front entrance overnight. We wanted to apply for it just to give, you know, ourselves some peace of mind at night. We're responsible for a lot of really special days and a lot of people's incomes as well. Co-owner Amy Heibarger, fortunate enough to have never experienced any major vandalism at her chapel, but feels like any security she can get is a benefit. We felt like the only real vulnerability was the windows in the front of the chapel because um, windows get broken everywhere. So that that was the, the best way to use the money. And while the application process for the second round of funds is now closed, the city is considering issuing a third round of grants to those business owners in need. Now, the funds are possible through the American Rescue Plan Act, which was enacted some two years ago, providing emergency grants to small businesses impacted by the COVID pandemic.